This is a video response to the weasel. How's it going, weasel? I want to talk about uh, your situation with shoe nice. Um, first of all, if shoe nice has been drinking as much as he has been, I mean, if he's drinking like a fifth, of course I can drink a fifth and a pint also. Hell, there's times when I can almost drink a whole half gallon of 80 proof or 101 proof, whatever I can get my hands on. Uh, I've been on both sides. Uh, years ago when I wasn't drinking, I was with someone who was drinking and I ended up going to uh, an Al-Anon meeting. Went to a few of them. Uh, so that might be uh, something that you might consider. Maybe just go to one meeting and ask them if you could borrow a couple of books and uh, read them and then return them. I don't know how busy you are to take time out of your day to go to an Al-Anon meeting. But when it comes to someone that drinks that much alcohol all the time, you can't just stop drinking alcohol. You can't just stop cold turkey. Now, if you go to a rehab, some doctor there is going to give you some kind of medication to wean you off of it. But basically, <laughs> what it comes down to is why not just slow down on the alcohol? Why, 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 why set yourself up with uh, getting hooked on something else when alcohol is the, the culprit? Wean yourself off slowly. Uh, and never tell yourself that you're going to never have a drink again. you got to learn moderation. you got to control it. And if you can't control it, then I don't know what to tell you. Hell, I can't even get a handle on that. I went to AA before. And uh, it wasn't for me. Because every time that I went, I felt guilty because they would ask me, and I wasn't going to tell them a lie. Have you stopped drinking? When's the last time you didn't have a drink? And I would just tell them. Do uh, you remember the last time that I came to a meeting? I left, bought a bottle, and went home. And I drank it. And it didn't seem fair to the people that were at AA. So I quit going. Um, now I can drink to the point where I'm surprised that I haven't had alcohol poisoning. I mean, I can drink a fifth of 101 wild turkey and on top of that drink a pint of 92 proof rum all at once not chugging it but during a duration of time of just sipping and sipping and sipping and sipping until it's all gone it's uh, it's kind of like having, being on an alcoholic alcohol diet you know it's amazing I lost three days in the first week and what happens after I drink that much well, I have a hangover. I feel like shit for two or three days, and then after I start feeling a little bit better, what does any junkie do? He looks for another fix. It's a roller coaster merry-go-round. Um, I don't know what the answer is here. I will say... You're doing the right thing. You're you're uh, you're not being an enabler. But Weasel, I suggest check out Alana. Check it out, and uh, it might help you understand a little about what's going on. 
in Shoe Nice's life. Shoe Nice, if you happen to watch this video, good luck. Um, these challenges, you've already done it. There's no sense in doing any more of them. You can find other challenges to do, and I'm not talking about drinking Elmer's glue. There's other challenges that you can do. you got quite a following. Um, I will mention also that uh, I'm not putting you in the title or in the description, Shoe Nice, because I'm not looking for a lot of views on this. You know, I figure if the weasel wants to, to pass this video on to other people, I mean, that's, that's cool, but I'm not looking for a bunch of views or anything or subscribers on my channel. I like it just the way it is. Um, hopefully I can upload this, this video. I've tried to upload some videos around New Year's and what, what's today? The 14th or, I don't know, today's a, what is today? When? I don't even know what today is. I'll drink to that. Just like I tried to do this vaping thing to try to quit smoking. Do I still smoke? Yeah, I do. I smoke cigarettes. This has helped me cut back a little bit. Tobacco flavor. Yeah, I don't know. This is one substitute for the other. Just like what they'll do if you go to rehab. Got to do it yourself, man. Don't, don't, I mean... That's what I'm trying to do. And it's a battle every day. It's a battle to slow down the drinking. So good luck. The YouTube drinking community is one big dysfunctional alcoholic family. And we might poke fun at each other and call each other names. Of course, I, I try to avoid that. But uh, I think a lot of it is in tongue-in-cheek. I'd like to hope so. You know, um, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to cut this video down here. I'm at what? Yeah. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm, uh, what the hell am I drinking? Uh, let's see if I can pronounce it. Try to pronounce it with me. Cabernet. So Vignan. Sounds like I'm talking backwards. Anyway, why am I drinking box wine? You may ask. Because I'm looking for a different type of buzz. Not only that, but I'm. Once you open up the box, it's got a neat little air pillow in it, and it's adjustable. And if you want, you can have a water pillow and you can actually just, <clears throat> you can lay there and have a drink. Sometimes you just want to have a drink. And if you get, if you drink enough of these and you save these up, you get some duct tape and uh, you got yourself an air mattress. Might be handy shoe nice because, uh, you know, if you don't start straightening up a little bit. You may become homeless, and if you do, I'll uh, I'll let the air out of this, and I'll stuff all these in an envelope, and that way you can sleep on a park bench on a nice air pillow. Anyway, I hope this helped. I don't know. I guess I'm talking shit. I was gonna leave a comment on Weasel's video. Um, I did on the very first one. Um, I didn't, it wasn't labeled, I think it was labeled something, uh, the worst blackout, or Shoe Nice wanted to call it the worst blackout, I don't know, it was that video, and then there was an aftermath video, and I don't, I'm pretty sure that was all shot in the same day, I hope it's not an ongoing thing, but anyway, I wanted to keep this under 10 minutes, so good luck guys, and I'll talk to you later.